It's that time of the week. We are looking at your dynasty football trades on, on today's video, giving our thoughts and letting you know where we stand. Hey, are you the person watching wanting your trades to be on this weekly show? Well, let me tell you what, I got the deal for you. <laughs> I feel like I'm in an infomercial or something. Uh, if you want your trades to be on our weekly Dynasty trade show, go ahead and use our code LAND, L-A-N-D, when That's signing right. up at flockfantasy.com slash LAND. That will give you 30% off your membership. And if you choose the Mother Flocker tier, you're going to unlock this Dynasty Trades text channel in our Discord and get a new role. And we will be looking at your trades probably this time next week. DM us when you sign up and we'll, we'll help you get all set up on discord okay the latest trade here uh since the last video we made is from jay stump so big shout out to you stump he says 12 team super flex ppr titan premium uh win now team with no 24 first but there's no way i couldn't pass on doing this so he gets jerry judy at 24 first sends metcalf in a second and i think you and I would both have Metcalf ahead of Judy in our rankings, but we would both do this trade in a heartbeat. We love Jerry Judy, and getting the first for the second swap is a no-brainer. Yeah, without a doubt. I, I like this um this pickup for Jay Stum. So, yeah, good good trade. No, I agree. And I forgot to say this at the beginning of the video, but do us a massive favor, guys. Drop a like as you're watching this. Uh, Come on. Just a little way to support the channel and subscribe if you like Dynasty content. Uh, Chatter Bob. Uh, just has a question. It says trade Debo for Quentin Johnson and a third. Thoughts? Um, I would take so Quentin personally. Yeah, it's basically Debo or Quentin. I mean, look, it, it really does depend on your team construction there because I think if you're trying to compete right now and Debo is an important part of your team, Debo is likely going to give you more points this year. Um, and he's not like in his 30s or anything. But if you are rebuilding or kind of a middle of the pack team, then I would also prefer Quentin Johnson long term. Yeah, agreed. Okay, Wid Murder. It, he says, so this team has been a big topic of conversation in my league. Some of my, my league mates believe I was fleeced. Okay, this would be fun. Okay. I sent the package for the 101, Jefferson, Chase, and Garrett Wilson. All said no. This is a one quarterback PPR start eight. I had recently bought Aaron Jones for the 207, Tyler Lockett for the 210. I made this deal draft weekend. So after JS and landing spot, I have the 102, 103. So losing the 106 was meh. I tried to do it without the 106, but no budge. Um, okay, so, it, and then he says, has led to being, uh, has led to trading being difficult as everyone wants to steal kind of a deal. So roast me if you want. Okay. Um, okay, so let's have a look. So okay. it looks like he gets a Monra St. Brown, sends away Lockett Jones, the 106. This is one quarterback. This is one quarterback, the 106. Who's okay, at the 106 this is one quarterback. One quarterback. So you've got Bijan, um, Gibbs, JSN. Um, that's the top three. Then what, Quentin, Quentin Addison, Jordan, Addison. And potentially Zay. So you get Zay, Zay here. Is he at the 106? So essentially, the, this is the way I'm seeing it. Um, depending on if he's a win. I mean, he's is a start eight. So I'm not seeing a, a scenario where, depending on your team, you're starting Tyra Lockett or Aaron Jones. So now you have Kyle. I think you would if you're if you're competing. If, if yeah, if you are competing, but depending on who he, who's on his team, I think we need the context. Obviously, we don't have that. So the way I'm really seeing is Kyle Pitts in the 106, which is so Zay Jones and Kyle Pitts um, for Monra um, in a one quarterback league. But it's not just Kyle Pitts in the 106. Lockett and Jones are contributors today. If you're competing. Yeah, I mean, I, I'll say this. I, I would not pay this price for a Monroe St. Brown. And I wonder if there's a tight end premium in this league. Yeah. Because if there's just, a tight end premium, it's a no brainer. But yeah, even if there's not, even if there's not just personally, I would prefer Kyle Pitts in this deal. Because again, talking about it being a start eight league, well, one of the biggest difference makers in those formats is an is elite tight end. Tight end, exactly. And that's where I was that's where I was going. So sorry. Yeah. Um no, that's fine. That's fine. I'm saying like that's where I was going in in, in this yeah. sense. Like if I have Kyle Pitts and a star eight with the 106 that and Zay Flowers is going to replace the Monra, at least I have my solidified tight end who I can kind of set and forget. And yeah, I could probably have Tyra Lockett or Aaron Jones as a rotation guys if if they if they do kind of fall off um here soon. So I'm really happy with Kyle Pitts in the 106 just based off of, I guess, so far the context that we do have. But if it's, yeah, if, um yeah, that's what I would say. 
I think you can find a way to spin the narrative, but I, I would just, cause he said, feel free to roast or give honest opinions. And that's what we do. Like we don't, we're not afraid to like not give our honest opinions. We want to make sure it's always honest. Yeah. So just being hundred percent honest and transparent. I think if you put this on a poll to everyone who plays dynasty, probably 85 plus percent of people would choose the, the pit side. Um, but look, anything can happen long term. I just think, you know, people are going to roast people in chats. It happens, but yeah, I would take the pit side. It doesn't mean that it's an awful trade. It's just, it's not what we would do. Yeah, exactly. Um, uh, okay. Next? So Jay slim is next. He says thoughts on this trades fella. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Other way around. <laughs> <laughs> I traded 24 second for Algier as a handcuff. Um, possible and possibly one, a one, two punch with Bijan. Oh, okay. I mean, look, Jay, this is what I would say. I don't see a way that they spend a top eight pick on B. John Robinson and there's going to be a one-two punch. Mm. Um, number one. Number two, I wouldn't be paying a 24 second for Tyler Algier, who is probably not going to be seeing more yeah. than 20%. Like, he's just relieving B. John Robinson. Um, yeah. I would be really surprised if this is a one-two punch. Maybe you know something we don't know. And this will be a steal later in the future, you know, at the end of the season or in the middle of the season. But I wouldn't do this trade personally. So just for context, we have been encouraging people to sell Tyler Algier for a second round pick for mm -hmm. like six months now, if you mm -hmm. could do it. So and that was before Bijan landed in Atlanta. So we've been pretty like uh, a lot of people would know this if they've been on our channel for a while, because we've had a lot of people in the Tyler Algier corner, you know, kind of cheering for him and saying we're wrong. Um, and, you know, we missed in on, on some areas this draft for sure. But um, just to give you context, we would have probably taken the second side of this deal before the draft. Uh, we're just, you know, we, we didn't want to bet on Algiers draft capital. Exactly. Um, Goat rings, 12 team, two quarterback, full PPR, start 11. I now have Burrow, Jackson, Mac, Bailey, Lance, Jacoby, Malik. This is the aftermath of my fields for Trey and 224 first deal. And that 109... I got with Burks for Dobbins, JMO in the 205. I got my safety of quarterback now with those 24 first. Plus, this is the first trade me and him have, have made in 11 years. All right. Wow. Um, okay, so the top team gets Mechie in the 109. The bottom team gets Mac Jones, Tony in the 204. Um, that 109 is still I think it's a bit flowers range, right? It depends. Yeah, it depends for sure. I mean, the two two quarterback leagues. So yeah, it, it even be. even then, like I still want Dalton Kincaid. You know, like at the one one hundred nine, right. one hundred ten. Like, um, look, I think I, this trade the, rel relies on on Kadarius Tony, to be honest. Yeah, and I also think it also relies on the twenty four first that he's leaning on to as well in the future, kind of with, with the context that he said. So okay, um. Yeah. Yeah, in a it's vacuum, I'm going the 109 because I know I can get Zay Flowers there. I think that would be the best player in this yeah. deal. Yeah, agreed. Uh, but, I, I mean, with the context, he's made some moves that make that make sense. 12 team, mm -hmm. two quarterback, full PPR, start 11. This trade was made before the draft and before the Lions ripped my heart out. But so this uh -huh. is also what I flipped that 209 for. Um, okay, so for Burks, it looks okay. like... He's... Oh, I think that was the, the top <clears throat> trade, sorry. So this... This bottom trade, it looks like 10 team full PPR start 11. Tight end premium is 0.5. I now have Brock and Lance. Ah, Not okay. sold on love, though. I know he has a start, hoping Lance gets moved tomorrow. Um, let's see. So it looks like the trade is Godwin, Swift, likely the 204. Sends away Adams, um, Singletary, Haskins, the 307, 305, 209. So, you know, I would say this is a relatively even deal if you're. If you're wanting to win right now, Adams is the receiver you prefer over Godwin pretty easily. But Swift is more valuable than anything else on that yeah. right-hand side. Yeah, I think right now it's really difficult to kind of value any of these Bucks wide receivers, Chris Godwin, Mike Evans. What is going to happen there? Who's going to be the quarterback? Obviously, everyone's leaning Baker or Kyle. Um, they're tanking for Caleb. What if they don't get Caleb? Um, are, do are both of those guys even on the team? So many question marks for that Bucks wide receiver room. Um, yeah. yeah, I mean, it, it's definitely an even trade for sure. I think the value is there with Chris Godwin and Swifty. Um, yeah. 
So yeah, I definitely hear you. But just you a difficult trade. Yeah, the two hundred four as well. I mean, that could turn into Kendra or Mingo or you know a Rashawn Johnson. Yeah, Zach yeah. Charbonnet if he falls, a chain. Yeah. So I think overall, I do like the left side. But you know, again, if I'm competing right now, I think Adams gives me more bang for my buck in the next year or two. But mm-hmm. um. But yeah, all right, on to Lazy Bones. He says, all right, here's a trade I made post-NFL draft and rookie drafts Okay. on April 30th after the NFL draft. One quarterback, 12-team PPR, start eight, uh, two wide receivers, two flex. Pre-trade context, I want to invest in high-quality wide receiver talent that can help me That can also uh, help me compete. compete. Running right. back room is Saquon, Kenneth Walker, Ramondre, Sharby, Eric Gray, Chase Brown, AJ Dillon. Wide receiver room is Ridley, Pittman, DJ Moore, Juju. Okay, let's have a look. So he gets Juju, a second and a third for Stevenson, and a fourth. Jerry. And I'm completely fine with yeah. the Jerry Judy side. I'm happy. I'm happy with the Jerry side. Is I'm happy with the Jerry side as well. So good trade. It looks like Stevenson was movable for you. You had Saquon, Kenneth Walker, Charbonnet. Um, and then some pieces, you know, if injuries happen, that could be starters. So yeah. I like the Judy side of this, and I think Judy's going to have a huge year this yeah, year. Yeah, phenomenal year this year, without a doubt. Basie Crown says, Delta League, he gets DK Metcalf in a first, sends away Brees Hall in a third. So what do we think of this deal then? Um, I'm we happy know with the, the context is a super flex league. Yeah, yeah. I'm happy with the 24 first side, personally. Um Brees, I think we'll kind of come back and have a great bounce back. But what if that 24 first is a top five, top six pick? Um, I know DK is probably going to take a step back here, potentially with JSN. But I guess right. getting, that, getting that 24 first kind of really moves the needle for me. And what's a third, right? Like, what's a, what's the third um, in, yeah. in this trade where you can get a top 15, top 20 wide receiver still with Geno um, and a really good offense in a 24 first? So give me, give me the KCB side. I would say it really comes down to where that 24 first ends up. If that's a 110 to 112, I would prefer the Brees Hall side of this. Um, For sure. I would definitely but agree there. If that's like the 106, and we'll find out in a year or so, but if that's the 106, I do prefer the Metcalf wonder, side. But again, yeah, um, I think Brees Hall is the best player in the deal. So if that ends up being a late first, then then special grade would have gotten a good deal here. We'll only find out with time. With time. Yeah, Absolutely. All right, Basie Crown, another one says two quarterback and super flex. Does that mean you can start three? He says, that's right. Three quarterbacks can start. What the? <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Eight team, start 10, full PPR, and plus 0.75 for running first. I'm, again, I'm assuming that means like for a first down. Um, yeah. Since it's 18, those firsts are generally top eight. Well, guaranteed. Yeah, that makes sense. League parity uh-huh. is pretty even. This is our first year and draft finished last week. Um, okay, so it looks like he sends a, or he receives three first round picks. Sends looks like D Rock's going all in. Rock. And look, one thing I would say with this trade, it's really difficult to understand what that is. And obviously, you know, we don't have time to look at the 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 team ID. But it all depends on what who your quarterbacks are here, um, mm. especially in a three quarterback start, right? Um, yeah, I, I think that's where that's where I will be heading. Um, we won't know what yeah, this trade looks like in the one. future, or we mm-hmm. won't know who wins this trade until the future. But at the moment, I mean, if, it kind of feels pretty even, especially with the three quarterbacks. Well, here's what's difficult about this move: is you send Daniel Jones and Amonra to D Rock, and he sends you his first round picks. It sounds like D Rock is a competing team, mm-hmm. and. If the missing piece for him to win the championship was a third quarterback in a Monroe St. Brown, then we might have just traded away, you know, Daniel Jones and a Monroe for late first round picks. That's what's tough is we're making the person that we got the picks from a stronger team. And you're right. It's hard to know um, without like seeing the quarterbacks. But if you can start three quarterbacks and they're all great, I think that would be a huge advantage in this format. Um, so overall, I would say without context, I mean, even in a 12 team, I would send a first for a Monra. I would send a first for Daniel Jones. So then it's a first and a second that we have to add up here. And those are so in the future. I don't know. Again, like it could, it's all going to come down to D rocks team and how they perform. Cause if they tank, then you're absolutely the winner here. Yeah. But if not, then, uh, then D rock might've just won that deal. Yeah. Yeah. Very interesting. Uh, 
Corey96 says, Superflex start 10. You guys reviewed my team a couple weeks ago and rightfully called out that I was in the middle of a tanking uh, and not having a good team. I couldn't trade for my 24 picks as the guy wouldn't budge on some pretty good offers. So I decided to throw my hat in contending this year. Let me know what you think of this trade and how it affects my team. Okay. Hey, so he gets Adams, Kamara, Cup, Mike Williams, Tua, and the 307. Sends away Trey Lance, the 102, a first, and then three firsts. So three firsts, basically. Three first, okay. Um, and that's a 102 as well. I mean, look, 102 alone, there's no one here that's worth a 102. That's what I'm seeing. Now, mm. I understand you're competing and you want to compete, but I would have wanted a a futuristic player. I would have wanted a C.D. Lamb. I would have wanted yeah, exactly. a, a Jonathan Taylor, uh, somebody along those lines that can still give you that young piece but can help you compete. Um, I wouldn't yeah. have wanted to do that for all of these all of these guys. I mean, Cooper Cup could be done after this year with Matthew Stafford. Alvin Kamara can miss six games. Mike Williams, what's going to happen with Quinton? Tua, I believe in. Um, not yeah, worth the like 102. The Devontae Adams, what's that going to look like with Jimmy G? I mean, we hope that he can definitely maintain and manage me as Devontae Adams, right? But I, I'm i personally not in love with this trade. Mm. I'm not. I'm not. Once again, I wish it was a CeeDee Lamb, a Garrett Wilson, any of those top 12 wide receivers yeah. I would have been okay with to send for the one you're, you're getting rid of the opportunity of making your team younger and you're just going all in, which I understand we told you, like, you have to choose a direction. But I just think it's like getting the right players for that direction. Um, and Cup and Adams will never be more valuable. I would say Cup, Adams, Kamara, and Mark or, and Mike Williams, all four of those guys, they'll never be more valuable than they are today. Mm -hmm. So that's what's tough about it. You really need to win given this deal. Um, so, yeah, that's a tough one, man. That's a really tough one. Here's what I'll say. Those 25 and 24 firsts are crucial. Yeah. If those are... If those end up being, you know, top three, four, five picks, then you definitely lost this deal. Um, but yeah, again, I just don't like, like Badaki said, he's right. Like, I don't like, I, I, I want to pick a direction and go all in, but I want to make sure that I've done that for longevity, yeah, not right just for possible. intermediate, you know, return. Exactly. Um, but yeah, what I will say is like, Corey, don't be afraid to uh, send us a message you know, on this, on the fancy hotline, we'd be happy to offer our feedback. If, you know, if you sent us that deal, we probably would have said, ah, uh, I know you want to choose a direction, but these aren't the players that we really want to invest in long-term. Exactly. If we have that high draft capital with the 102. Yeah. Exactly. Flash 12 team, super flex, start 12 PPR one tight end premium contending roster also have fields, Dak and Gino. Okay. So gets Lamar Jackson sends away, Jamison Williams in the 104. So that's probably what CJ Stroud and Jamison Williams. Stroud and Williams here. Um, with the context, I'm okay with it. I think it's an even yeah. trade, personally. I mean, you still have a Monroe, apparently. I'm assuming you have a decent wide receiver room. And Lamar Jackson is, I have him high in my rankings over the, any, all the rookie quarterbacks. So yeah, same. Um, I'm okay with that. I think it all depends on how Jamison Williams is going mm -hmm. to. Um, have what good of a year or what type of year he's going to have in 2023. Yeah. If that CJ Stroud at the one Oh four and he ends up being, you know, Joe Burrow, then you would have regretted this trade. But if yeah. he ends up being Jared Goff, you'll be fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What I will say is I don't understand. I'm not, I'm not saying you don't need Lamar Jackson, but you already had fields and, and Dak and Gino and Gino. Yeah. So now we That's have true. four quarterbacks that we can start. So I'm not sure that we needed to do that in a super flex format. Mm -hmm. I would I would agree. Be interested to see maybe what you can get for Dak or Gino. I mean, I don't want to sell Gino. I think he's undervalued, and I think Dak is undervalued too. So yeah, this is a tough one because I'm not so sure that your team needed that. Yeah, I definitely. And in a start in a start twelve league, Badaki start twelve. I mean, that's tough. You need a strong roster. And you've got two starting quarterbacks on your bench. I don't know. I'm just curious as to how you would navigate that. Um, or if you're looking to move some some of those other players. But yeah. Yeah. Anyway, Herbert next trade says, did this trade during the draft added his team for more context, older team with no draft capital. 
uh, 12 team super flex 1.5 premium. So John gets a 25 first for the 109. Um, so a 25 first or Zay Flowers, and like I'm I'm completely fine with this deal. Yeah. Um, I, I I am fine with this deal. I think it's really difficult to understand what the 25 first is going to be. That's two years out. Um, at the moment, yeah. of course, you would say, um, maybe it's easier to go with Zay. But if you don't like Zay, then 25 first is fine. I think it's even trade. Yeah, at the and moment. you kind of put yourself in the wild card for the 2025 draft. I like yeah. it. Uh, what's up, James? James. Uh, super flex start ten PPR tight end premium. Uh, six point passing touchdowns for mm-hmm. quarterbacks. Started with Lamar Jackson and Fire Me. Turned that into the 105, 108, 110 car. Baker Pittman and my other quarterback is Trevor. Was severely lacking wide receivers. Only ones I had were Ayuk, OBJ, and a bunch of fours. Uh, now I'm planning uh, Jason slash Gibbs at the 105, Quinton slash Addison at the 108, Mayor Levis or Kincaid at the 110. Okay. Okay, so Lamar Jackson. Okay, so you got the 102 in that deal. Okay, I, I was concerned that it was just the 112 and the 111. Just the 112. So right. we got, we got okay. the 102, the 111, and the 112 for Lamar and, and Pat Fryermuth. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. I mean, you can take Bryce Young or, or you Anthony, Richardson, Anthony Richardson, whoever you want at the 102. And I just don't love that back in the first, the back though. in the first. The back in the first definitely could could hurt you you know if somehow Kincaid falls to you at the 111 usually he goes at the 112 but if Kincaid falls to you Zay Flowers which we've seen in multiple leagues so especially sorry to interrupt but I just realized that he actually has used those picks already he used them sent um okay he sent away the 102 and got, okay, okay this deal I don't like yeah you sent away the 102 got Derek Carr Michael Pittman the 107 the 207 yeah that deal I don't like um yeah I would have kept the 102. Mm-hmm. I would have felt much better about that previous deal if we kept the 102. And with that 107, you trade that away with the 109. Talaji and David and Joke, and you receive Baker Mayfield, the 110, and the 105. Okay. So I think a, a lot of these are lateral moves or they're hurting your team. Yeah. Just being honest, like in my in my personal opinion, mm-hmm. like this Lamar Jackson deal, it's hard to lose Lamar Jackson because there's not a quarterback better than him in my rankings at the 102. I don't value the back end of the first, but I thought, OK, well, we, we've used those first to upgrade somewhere else, but we've used it to get Derek Carr. I mean. Carr's got a long term contract with the Saints, but I don't think any of us would have like the utmost confidence in him in fantasy football right now. Michael Pittman, I have him in a lot of leagues. I'm worried about the uh, the offense there in Indianapolis. Yeah. Um, what's the volume going to be with Anthony Richardson running the ball? We get out of the top five with the 107, and then we get back into it. Um, I have to just be 100% honest and transparent. I don't really love these deals. Yeah, I would agree there. It's just a lot of lateral moves for, I would say, for for a lot of mid-players. Right, like, yeah, I don't want Baker Mayfield. I don't want Baker. Like, I, Derek Carr's a fine quarterback too, but I don't want to rely on him long term. Yeah. I have questions about Pittman with Anthony Richardson. Yeah, yeah. Um, a lot of question marks. Was hoping that you could use that 102 to get one of the best quarterbacks in this year's draft, but you know we move a deal to to improve our wide receiver room, but we get Derek Carr. I don't love. Mm-hmm. So these aren't deals that I would make personally. Yeah, yeah, agreed. What completely? But um, hey, if you got a vision, man, run with the vision. I just think. Uh, again, we try and be as honest as possible. It's just not moves that we would make. Yeah. Um, SXP says traded away my 101 jackpot question mark. 12 team super flex mm-hmm. start nine. Um, 1.5 time to premium quarterbacks are Lamar and Watson. Wide receiver core is now Justin Jefferson, Garrett Wilson, Smitty, DK, and Ridley. So it looks like he sent the 101, the 211, and the 303 for Justin Jefferson. That's a no brainer if you can do that. Yeah. I like that trade. Really good trade. Um, getting a wide receiver, the longevity there for the wide receiver room. 100%. I love yeah. it. I Justin Jefferson could end up being the best wide receiver in the history of the NFL with the pace that he's on. Um, on the clock at the 110, and no one wanted what was there, so I traded to a guy who really wanted to move up for Levis. So you get Pollard for the 110. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Okay. It's interesting. Uh, I, I'm very, I, I've been someone who's very open to acquiring Tony Pollard since the draft. Yeah. They didn't add anyone, paying him $18 million on the franchise tag. I don't think you get a better player at the 110. Certainly would prefer Pollard over Charbonnet or A-Chain there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I definitely, I can definitely see the pathway. It's an interesting trade. Um, 
Tony Pollard. Tony Pollard for sure. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we've got Matty Ice as the last deal. Last it's an eight-team super flex PPR dynasty. Not sure how I pulled this off. Wasn't high on A-chain, so wanted to see if I could get a guy I had more faith in. Since it's my second, it should be the 212, but who knows? And, yeah, I don't know how he, how he pulled this off either. Yeah. He got ETN for A-chain in a second. That is um big money there, Travis ETN. Yeah. Perfect. Great trade. I actually have no idea how you pulled that off. I mean, that's, <laughs> Send the trades that's out. a dream dream trade right there um a chain is so funny dude like i bro i'm i honestly almost bought him as like like a sell sell high play <laughs> well here's what's funny about it is like i spent all off season being the one backing him up right like getting roasted in the comments in every video and now we're bringing context to a chain as like hey um, like a chain, but the back half of the first is weak. Maybe get these players instead. And we're getting comments where it's like, like you don't know anything about a chain. He's like, he's going to transform the position. I'm like, do you guys not know that I was the a chain guy? I just think the value is getting a little too crazy in some of the these value, deals. That's, and I think it's that's like, exactly why I was trying to. There's two so different sides. I have people commenting on videos telling me he's just a scat back. He's not going to be involved at all. Other people are telling me, I don't understand that the NFL is changing. And yeah. most of them not understanding that I was the A chain guy all off season. I, I just like think he's getting a little overvalued, especially in a deal like this. I feel like the the community, I would say the overarching community, in my opinion, from what I've been seeing, is overvaluing him. And I think it's a good sell high opportunity because one of the things I've been saying, and you know, we had the conversation about like next year, what his his value is not going to be as good, at least in my opinion, because I do believe they draft another running back. Um, it's just difficult. It's difficult to really understand yeah, I mean, what, what's going look, to happen. That's a different conversation entirely. They yeah. could draft another running back. Yeah. We thought they would draft a running back in twenty twenty two draft. And they didn't mm-hmm. do it. Um, but again, I would just, like I'm I'm very pro A chain because I think yeah how you could sell Tyler Algier before the draft. Like mm. players are valued in blocks in in times in six month periods. So yeah. I think A chain still valuable, but there's just this weird uh, polar opposite opinions coming at us left and right about A chain. Yeah. By the way, don't want to cut you. Hard to gauge. But about about thirty seconds now left. That's that's it anyway. So that's all the trades for today. Uh, DM us on Discord if you sign up with our code Land linked uh pinned pin link in the description yeah thanks for watching drop a like and we'll see you in the next video all up now that those idiots are done talking who needs some rankings hell yeah i need some rankings then use promo code land l-a-n-d for 30 percent off any membership at flockfantasy.com oh it's so easy even your grandma could scan that qr code right there